Arcuda Digital introduces ArcMC DLNA application. Let's take a look at it. We start with enabling access point mode on our Android mobile phone that ArcMC offers. It's a, a feature that offers you to have the Wi-Fi connection anywhere you go. It's a portable Wi-Fi hotspot. Here you can see we are enabling it on our phone turns on and now we're launching ArcMC application on our phone. Let's take another Android device. We have Samsung Galaxy Tab and we are going to connect to the same network we just established on our uh, mobile phone, we're going to, to connect uh, our uh, Galaxy Tab to the same network. Here you can see we are connecting to ArcMC portable Wi-Fi hotspot. We're launching application on our Galaxy Tab. As soon as you open the application, it offers you a list of available DLNA servers in your network. We choose a server, we're going through its libraries and choosing the file we want to play. It's a video file and we are sending the file to play on local player. It's a local playback feature. You can see that you can control the playback right on the screen. Stop, rewind, fast forward. Let's stop this file in our Galaxy tab and we're going to send it to an external renderer. Actually, it's, we're sending it back to our phone. And you can see the file continues playing on, on the phone. It's the same file which we just shared that video file with our. Now we're going to Wi-Fi connection. We are going to disable our uh, portable access point that we established before. And once you turn that off, your device automatically connects to another available wireless network. As you can see, it's automatically connecting to another uh, network. We're opening an application again, and you can see an updated list of digital media servers in your network and a now playing list. Let's check our Wi Fi connection on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. And you can see it automatically connected to another available wireless network as well as our um, Android phone. Launch an application on our Samsung Galaxy Tab. Choosing the server. It's going to be um, an external server, our uh, PC. And uh, we're choosing the file we want to play. And we're sending it to play locally on our Samsung Galaxy Tab. The video file, you can control it right from the application, from your screen. Now we're going to pause uh, this video on our Samsung Galaxy Tab and we're sending it to an external digital media render to our Android phone. And now it continues playing on the phone. Now we are going to resend it again. Now we're sending this playback to a Windows media player that we have in our digital network. And you can see the same video continues playing on Windows media player. So here you can see an interoperability between ArcMC and uh, Windows Media Player. 
now we can show you more what we can do between uh, Arc MC and um, Windows Media Player. Using a Windows Media Player, we are browsing through Arc Digital Media Server libraries, choosing the file we want to play. And we're playing a video from um, Arc DM DMS on our Windows Media Player. You can control the playback right on a screen using the Windows Media Player. And we are going to send the same file we are playing right now in our Windows Media Player to an external digital media renderer using the Windows Media Player. You see we are. We see the um, available digital media renderers. We browse through, uh, through renderers in our network and we choose our Samsung Galaxy Tab. And we send the, the video file to a Samsung Galaxy Tab. It continues playing on our tab now. Now we're going to show a playlist feature. We are starting with creating a new playlist. Go to playlist and adding a new one. And uh, now we are going to type a name of our new playlist. And we just uh, saved it, we created a new playlist, and we are going to add different media items to our playlist. We are browsing through different servers and we are adding different types of media, um, media items to our new, new playlist we just created. We are adding music files, uh, pictures, video files. And as you can see, um, once you choose file, you have an option to add it to a playlist. So browsing through different servers, uh, libraries, and adding uh, media items. So we can see we have four media items that we just added to our playlist. And it's the um, fifth one we just added. And um, we'll show you how to um, edit items in your uh, playlist, you can move it around, you can change the position of a media item inside a playlist and you can also rename um, play an item. You just simply slide down and you move the position of the item in your playlist. Now we choose, uh, we're going to send our playlist to an external digital media renderer. It's um, XBMC on the left. You can see it start, started playing there.
At the same time, we are going to send the same playlist to a different um, external media renderer. It's a Windows Media Player. You can see on the right-hand side. And you can control playback right from your application. From RCMC, you can go to a next track or next file. You can go to previous file. You can stop. You can stop a playback. You can also locate media on a offline server as well as an online server. And uh, now we're going to remove a playlist. It's uh, simply by deleting it and just um, it's a very simple a feature. Just remove um, your playlist. And now we're going to sh uh, show you how to uh, share media content from a camera with an other devices in your network. We are going to take a picture on our Samsung Galaxy Tab. We're also recording a video, a video file on our Samsung Galaxy. So now we're going uh, to open up our KMC application and browse uh, through the libraries on our um, Samsung Galaxy tab. And we're going to find, we're going to look for a file we just recorded. Here we go, we uh, find a file and uh, we're sending it to play on our Windows Media Player. You can see it's uh, the file that we just recorded on our Samsung Galaxy tab. and you can control playback uh, from your RCMC application.